Hello and welcome along. It is the start of another lovely day here on Gwenthar. And uh, um, today we're going to go and get our uh, DB Vultra here. Uh, and we're heading back to the shop because we need to pick up a roller. Uh, so today's plan is uh, we're going to lay the groundwork for our farmyard. For the new farmyard that we're building up here. Uh, we need to get some concrete down and uh, and some mud down and things. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And so we're going to head over to the shop. We're going to get a roller, uh, which will uh, which will allow us to do the groundwork. I actually need to pick up two rollers, we, but we only have thirteen thousand left. So first plan today is pick up a roller so that we can do some groundwork with it. Second is that we're going to pick up a different roller that will allow us to fertilize our grass. Uh, providing we have enough money, I think we may have to go off and do a mission, to be honest. But we'll see how we do. So, under MISC, which is that, we should have a lizard roller. There we go. So, we're going to get that. Uh, we're going to get it in red, I think. There we go. There it is. There is our nice red roller. Now, I have the uh, ground modification mod on. Of course, for FS19, what we will have is a... Um, it won't be a ground modification thing like this, I believe. Uh, my understanding is you'll be able to place uh, bits of concrete and things like that, uh, which will be fantastic. And then the, the ground will alter to be flat for those. Right, so we'll connect that up and let's have a look what we have. So ground type, original ground, so we can have cultivated, ploughed, sowed, sowed wide, grass field, asphalt, sand, concrete, pine needles. Okay, so we are going for, wow, original ground cultivated. We want concrete. Uh, and we are going to remove grass as well because we are going to a grass field to do this and this should then give us a good nice pad to place down our, um, our new barn so the barn I want to go to I think just to the, just to the right here um, I've got to be careful because I don't, obviously don't want the gate to hit where it is. Oops. So it's got to go a little bit further than the gate. I think we're going to go from about here-ish. So let's see how much space it takes up, how much we need to actually uh, keep for it. So under the placeables, we have got some barns here. Uh, we've got grain storage, which we will want later. Uh, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking for 25,000 to start with, we might get, oh, ah, we don't have enough money to see how much space it takes up. That's annoying. I don't think we want to go any further than here, to be honest. I would like to, I would like to have been able to have seen it. Uh, and actually, as I can't see it. I don't know if we can earn. I don't think we can earn enough money, enough money today to do this. Having bought our roller, but I'm just going to go and forge ahead and get our uh, get our yard started. I want a reasonable area anyway, so lower. My roller, there we go. And we're going to put concrete down along here, as I said, to about here, I think. That's where we're going to put the concrete to. That's the basis for our shed and our yard. There we go. I 
think we want to come out to about here. Basically, I want to have a nice big area on which to put this uh, shed. And I think we'll go for the medium vehicle shelter if we can raise the money to do it. Uh, because it would be worth, well, it'd be worth us doing. There we go. We'll take this back up this way. Like so. So yeah, nice large concrete pad. Now what I'm going to do with the rest in front here is I'm going to uh, put down um, mud or put down uh, the same stuff as we have coming into this yard. Go. So down. Perfect. That's looking wonderful. So we're we're now filling in the area of concrete, and I'm really, I'm really excited to get this down. This is this is this is our farm beginning to take shape, and it's really rather cool. Down again. And goes that concrete. Perfect. One more. Now the thing I have to remember is that we we need to make sure that we when we set this roller down, we've got it set to original ground. Because what you end up with otherwise is uh, a patch of whatever it is you're creating at the time. Right, so now we're going to cycle through and we want what, mud, slabs, dirt. There we go. So we're going to extend our dirt here. Up the side of our new piece of concrete. Right. Down there like that. Get across the front as well. There we go. Oh wow, the front of our head, we have a slightly uneven bit across the front. I'm just gonna try and even that up a bit. Right. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, um, a perfectionist like that. Right, so there we have it. We have our first concrete pad, our first concrete area. So as I said, we need to set this to original ground. We want to remove grass, no. And, uh, and then I'm just going to put the roller down over here. Uh, actually, we'll put it on the concrete pad at the moment. We have no use to um, put it on there. We could actually extend our uh, our ground further out. Ah, oh, no. Right. There we go. Off. 
Yeah, you only want to put it original ground if you're putting it down on somewhere you haven't altered. Which is something to remember. Right, so, I think we were now... Uh, we should go and see if we can find a quick mission to do. Uh, maybe a little bit of... Uh, well, I'd like some harvesting if I can. But uh, I don't know what we've got. What fields are about that are available. Uh, field 31, I know, is one that we can do. I don't know about field 14. It might be pasture. Or field 15. Certainly, uh, there are fields down here that are uh, that are doable. So let's go and have a look. See if there's anything to do. Otherwise, actually, we could get started on our... Um, uh, getting our other stuff to go. So there's 15. I think there. There we go. I think that will be a sewing mission. So I think that will take too long, unfortunately. And there isn't one anyway. It's one of those things where, uh, as I said before, uh, there's two there's two things that don't get marked on a map that uh, in 17. That means that it's that means it gets very hard to do certain things. Uh, one of them is which field actually has a mission, which I know is being solved as part of FS19, uh, and the other is uh, where the water is, where you can fill up water. I'm really hoping that's something that's addressed in FS19. It's exactly where can you uh, fill up water. You know what I'm going to do, actually? We need to get more uh, grass in. We need to get more grass cut. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hook up our mowers, which are there. And do uh, something very similar to what we were doing last time. And go and get our other field mode and road while we're here uh, and then we can uh, next time we can do some forage harvesting and get that loaded up oh we've got our weight still on the front let's drop our weight off there we are But getting the groundwork laid now means that the grass that we've cut won't come back in this area. Right. So, let's swap around. And away we go. So, Winra behind us. Mur in front. And we can now just go and cut. Well, through the other side of here. And get it rode up immediately, which is just this this is just a massive time saver this. There we go. And on on down and away we go. Until we get the back through, like so, unfold it, start it up, and wrap it down. Right, away we go. So we'll do uh, a couple of headlands and uh, and then we'll go up and down the field. But uh, as, uh, as I said last time, this is just the quickest, most efficient way to get this done. Uh, and we, uh, we're getting to the stage now where we really, really need to get our uh, to get our silage stuff going. Because, uh, you know, we're down to 7,000. We can do a mission next time, so we'll go and find a mission of some description to do. I think we can... Um, let me go and harvest some sunflowers. 
that would be cool, would be good. So yeah, we're going to see if we can uh, sunflower harvest. There seems to be a little bit of an issue with field deaths around this corner. Certain bits, you know, there's, there's a bit of overlap with that field next to it. Because we keep getting that you don't own this field when we do this bottom end bit. And of course we end up with, uh, with gaps. Doesn't seem too bad looking at that, and we'll give it. Uh, we'll have a look at it on our way back round. But yeah, it's. Uh, I don't see that. It seems like there's a. There might be an issue with field definitions down that bottom side. Which, having done field definition stuff, having played around with the field defs on uh, Balan Craig, is a bit of a. Uh, it is. It is a bit of a, a pain in the butt. Field deaths. Right, making sure that we are nice and uh, and covering the full width. And one of the nice things about this setup is when you come up to a corner like you've got now, you can it will just whip round. And because you're doing it this way, you do you still get most of it. Uh, because of the maneuverability of everything, it just, it works, and it works so nicely. As I was say, saying last episode, I'm really intrigued as to whether anybody actually does this this way in real life. Whether uh, anybody, you know, connects up a wind rower to the back of, uh, yeah, like this. Uh, to the back of a, um, uh, a, a reverse drive tractor, or oh, front, I suppose, a reverse drive tractor like this, and uh, mows and windrows at the same time. Because the tractor has the power to do it. I just don't know if it's a uh, if it's a valid method of doing it. You know. It would be it would be interesting to find that out for me. Right, so at the end of this road we want to lift. We're only gonna do uh, I think we've got the maneuverability to I'm gonna do three headlands. I wanna make sure that I can get round uh, before I do the uh, before I do the turn. Although, to be honest, looking at this corner, and uh, after talking about the maneuverability last time, uh, we have got to get our uh, equipment doing the... Uh, uh, doing the actual... Um, come on, lift. No. Lift. There we go. All of those. There we are. Because I'm reverse driving, I'm getting the... Uh, I'm trying to lift the wrong implement. Which is slightly annoying. Right, there we go. That down. Um, watch for that clearing and down. Uh, there we are. And away we go. Yeah, it'd be nice if the uh, the controls switched as well as the um, <laughs> the the because I think the 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 selecting which implements, which is what I've got assigned on my joystick. I think the uh, that is uh, something brought in by drive control. It's massively useful being able to go right. I want to lift the front element, or I want to lift the rear, especially when doing something like a role play um, where you don't have the HUD up most of the time. Uh, here I can check which I've actually lifted, um, but it does uh, when you come to rely on that, and then you. You do a reverse drive like this, and uh, and lifting the rear actually lifts the front, or what's in front of you, I should say, because we are still looking at the rear of the tractor. Um, it uh, it can get a little bit frustrating. Right, so lift rear, lift front. There we go. So that's how you do it. There we 
go. So yeah, we're going to cut our way through the rest of this field, get this done, uh, and then that's going to be it for today. So we'll get we'll get the forage wagon out next time. We will uh, not the forage wagon, our forage harvester and trailer out. We'll get this field collected up. Um, and then, as I said, after that, what we'll go and do is we'll go and see if we can find a mission, see if we can raise some money. We are going to be... This, is this I think, is going to be the, the way that you have to do stuff in, uh, in FS19 to get yourself... Uh, uh, to, to, to lay your groundwork, to get yourself established. I think in FS19, and the beautiful thing about FS19 is there'll be more variety to this. Uh, simply because with the missions, the missions are going to be a much more integral part. But I'll be able to, at the start of the episode, rather than doing what we started to do this one, and sort of just driving around trying to find a mission, in FS19 the nice thing will be, I'll bring up the mission screen, I'll go, right, we're going to head off to XY, or X or Y. Uh, and we're going to go and uh, and we we'll do a mission for him, and and then we go straight to that field, and we can immediately see what missions are available at any given time, and that is just I am looking forward to that, so that that way of missions just becoming an easier thing to do, which is has sort of been the way that that Farm Sim has been going since fifteen. Is, is that your missions just becoming a more integral, more easier part to do. And that's how, that is opening up this whole contracting side of the game, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm really, I, you know, I'm really, really looking forward to getting into that side of things, uh, especially with the Cornbrook stuff. Uh, I, think multi, I think multiplayer missions, fantastic. Uh, but what I really would like, if somebody is playing a contract on the map and everybody else is, you know, has their own farms, uh, I'm hoping that missions can be set by other players. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling that, um, uh, I have a feeling that if it's not something in there as standard, somebody might do it for, for something like uh, MP Manager. Um, or MP Manager will have its own version of it. Which it, it kind of does in 17. Um, having used the, the multiplayer manager in, in FS17, it does have this whole thing of, uh, of being able to set jobs for people. Um, there's no... no... Yes. Yes and no, I think, actually. You can certainly charge for jobs, which is fantastic. But yeah, it would be great if in, uh, in multiplayer you can go, here's a job, uh, I'll pay X amount for it. And away you go. Bring your own equipment or use mine. <laughs> right, and... Yeah. I think it would I think for multiplayer uh, for like that it would have to be bring your own equipment. Otherwise players then have to hire equipment and stuff and then yeah it gets a little bit messy after that point. Right, we are almost there. We have uh, we have a little bit of a thin route to go. I realise I was rambling a little bit then. It's, I'm, I'm excited uh, about the possibilities from FS19 at the moment. I think I'm, I'm I think I, I don't think multiplayer missions go that far. I think multiplayer missions are just the kind of missions you get in single player, but available in multiplayer. I, I don't think for a moment uh, actually that there is. Uh, that, that there will be that kind of uh, sophistication to it. I would love to be wrong, I'm honest. If I'm honest. I would really love it if I was wrong in that aspect. But I don't I don't think that missions are going to be that complicated. Uh, you know, that 
uh, that advanced in, uh, in FS19. little strip and then we'll uh, we'll finish off as we head back to the main yard well, our new main yard and we'll park this on the concrete yeah. there we go right so turn that off hold it up Turn that off, fold it up. Turn that up, fold it up, and away we go. Awesome. Uh, right, let's get this back to the yard. It's very difficult to see with these mowers on the front. They are they are not great for your visibility. Right, and our yard, yeah, our yard is beginning to take shape. I am going to put a road, I think, uh, down the side of the pen there and out the other end. But, for now, that's a pretty good place to finish it, I think. Ooh. There we go. So, close our door. Uh, and that will do. So that is where we are going to end today's video. Um, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.